Right guys, welcome back to my channel and uh, in this video we are going to take a quick look at the match preview between the Sharks and the Stormers from uh, Johnson Kings uh, Park today. And uh, as a Shark supporter, I'm not looking too much into this one. Uh, the Sharks are resting a lot of Springboks, the Stormers are due uh, resting as well, but they do have a very formidable side to take on the Shark side and even the Shark side have a very very good uh, well, you can call them fringe players if you like. So, a vital game in, in the URC context, as uh, we will take a look at the lock uh, in just a second. But uh, a vital game between these two teams, and we always know that the Coastal Derby, a very hard, close fourth battle between the two sides. And uh, today should be no different uh, if we take a look at the team lineups that we've got. Let's, uh, let's see if we can quickly put that up for you guys. Um, Starting with this, so here's the two team lineups for for both sides. Starting with the Sharks, uh, Natatuko Tsunu, Geren van Vieren, and Carlos Sardi in the front row. They will be up against the likes of Brock Harris, Joseph Ndweba, and Nietling Vushia. So a very good side. We've heard so much about Carlos Sardi in the past, and uh, yeah, he just haven't lived up to the expectations just yet. There's also rumors that he might be leaving soon again. So, uh, certainly a player that would want to uh, showcase his talents up against the likes of Brock Harris, you know, with all the experience. And then uh, Tunu and Nietling Bashir will be up against each other, two, two youngsters coming through beautifully and really uh, working hard in both setups. And then Joseph Ndweba will come into the side hoping to uh, improve in his lineouts. He will uh, challenge Kieran van Vieren. Van Vieren will have a really good uh, challenge here to see where he is at as uh, a number two hooker in uh, the side as well. Then looking at the lock combinations of Hiron Andrews and Gerbran Grobler up against uh, Ruben van Heerden and Gary Porter. We all know that Ruben van Heerden previously a shark as well. Uh, things didn't work out quite well there for him. He moved away now he's back with the Stormers. Gary Porter, a very good youngster coming through. Against the likes of a uh, veteran of Aaron Andrews now and then Gerbran Grobler, that combination is starting to work really well for the shark side as well. Then looking at the uh, loose trio combination of James Fente, Henko Fente and Pepsi Butelezi up against the likes of Dion Furi, Junior Pocamela and Marcel Tienesen. Um, everybody know that Pepsi Butelezi is poised as a springbok real soon. Henko Fente has been a hard working player for the Sharks and James Fente will also look to really establish himself in the shark side with Kulisi leaving soon. Then uh, with the Stormers, Dion Furry, Hartman, he, you can't go wrong with this guy. He's got incredible experience, brilliant on the ground, and expect him to try and steal a couple of balls on the ground as well. With Junior Pocamela now starting to find his feet at the Stormers, and then Marcel Tienesen in for Irfan Roos is out injured. And uh, it will be interesting to see how he fares off the number eight position. Our back combinations for this one, Cameron Wright and Kevin Bosch up against uh, Herschel Yankees and Manny Libok. Should be a really good contest there. Um, Cameron Wright has been with the Sharks for quite some time. So too has Kevin Bosch. So this combination should be solid. So too the likes of the Springbok combination of Herschel Yankees and Manny Libok in that side as well. Libok getting a chance to start today. And uh, will he be the difference up against the likes of Kevin Bosch? Then looking at the uh, back three, Takir Abrams, Manus Portgieter and Apalila Fassi up against uh, Sabella Sanatla, Suleiman Hartzenbach and Clayton Blomikis. Uh, the Stormers were disrupted last week with Clayton Blomikis not able to play. Sanatla now back into the mix. And then uh, Hartzenbach was a little bit quiet against Ulster last week round. Where Takir Abrams and Manus Portgieter along with Apalila Fassi looks like a very, very dangerous uh, back three combination. With Fassi finding a bit of form and Manus Potgieter playing some exquisite rugby. And then we all know the likes of Takir Abrams, what he can do. Then the midfield combination of Rohan Janssen van Rensburg, uh, Ben Tapawai up against Dan Duplessis and Rohan Nell. Two very formidable combinations where I think the Stormers just might have the upper hand. I'm not a big fan of Ben Tapawai, but uh, he has delivered a couple of good performances for the Sharks as of late. So it will be interesting to see how he fares with Rowan Janssen van Rensburg in the mix. He's been playing some exquisite rugby, knocking on that Springbok door again, and so too has Dan Duplessis. 
Uh, so it will be a very good uh, two-on-two battle there between the two Simsite centers and then Ruanel you know, also putting in some really good performances as of late. Replacements is where I think the Stormers will have the upper hand a little bit over the Sharks. If we go and have a look at the Sharks uh, replacements, Dan Juster, Dian Bluer, Hanra Jacobs, Renil Ichus, Sikabuza Notche, Bradley Davids, Lionel Cronier and Ja Penke. Plenty of talent there with Dan Juster and Dian Bluer. A couple of new guys in Hanra Jacobs and Bradley Davids. And then uh, the veteran of Lionel Cronier and Notche along with uh, Renil Ichus will be vital for the Sharks. But when you have a look at the Stormers one, uh, you look at the likes of Andre Fenter, Ali Vermark and Sazi Zandi. Very good uh, front row combination by itself. Ben Jason Dixon was a standout player for the Stormers uh, last week. Willi Engelbrach on that bench as well, bringing some bulk. Keke Morabe, watch out for this guy. Very good player. And then Paul Devet coming back on the bench. Missed dearly last week in the, when Unrega were playing for the uh, Stormers. And then Sasha Ngome Zulu completing that lineup here for the uh, Stormers. So looking at that uh, team lineups, a very, very good uh, team lineup and one that uh, the both, both franchises can be proud of given that they have to rest their top players. And I think any of these teams can really be a good challenge on the day at home against some of the top teams of the URC. If we quickly go and have a look at the... Uh, Results from last year, the Stormers winning that last battle by 20 points to 10 and the previous one ending in a draw 22 all. So one would say that the Stormers have had the upper hand over the Sharks last year and it showed by becoming the URC champions and uh, they're still on top. They are currently uh, leading that as well if you're given the lock standings at the moment. Uh, the Stormers in second place with 12 games played, 8-1, and uh, with 45 points. Against the Sharks, have played 11 games, 1-7, and then uh, had 33 points to show for it. So, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how this one is going to turn around and how they're going to play it. But, uh, yeah, given on, on what we've seen so far, this should be an epic battle. And if you're going to have a look at the form from the two teams... Previously won three on the trot and now the Stormers have lost two on the trot against uh, Glasgow and Ulster. Two away games that they've lost there while the Sharks have won their last game and lost the previous one. So uh, if you look at the lock standings, 12 points between them with one game in hand. The Sharks could bring it down to seven points if they win with a bonus point. So there's not a lot in it. And uh, this one should definitely be a great spectacle leading up to that uh, big one in, uh, in March when they play in Cape Town, where they probably or most likely will play their strongest sides to get the upper hand. I would say if the Stormers lose this one, it's going to be immense for them to win the one in Cape Town. Where, as the Sharks, same thing goes. If they win this one, a little bit pressure off them, but then they will want to push on and win that one in Cape Town as well. So this game, utmost important between the two sides and uh, we'll have to wait and see. I'm going to go, yeah, it's a tough decision. Uh, as a Shark supporter, I don't know who to, to back for this one. Uh, obviously, I'm going to back the Sharks, but as result-wise, I almost think that the Stormer side might just pip the Sharks today, given that they've got some talented players there in the mix uh, with the likes of uh, Joseph Dweber. Um, Ruben van Heeren, Dion Furi, Herschel Yankees, Manny Libok, Dan Duplessis and Clayton Blomikis there. Nothing taken away from the Sharks. We've got Carlos Sarantunu, um, the likes of Butelezi and Bosch and Van Rensburg and Fassi. But I do believe that the bench will do it for the Stormers today. And the Stormers will win this game by between 3 and 5 points today. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Until next time guys, this is the Rugby Guru. Cheers for now.